Hello and welcome to the next of our vlogs all about herbs and gardening. Um, today we are going to be looking at horseradish and we're looking at horseradish because it is used often in home remedies. The herb garden at Pontefract Castle itself is planted using cool pepper. So I thought when we started to talk about home remedies um, we'd look at what cool pepper had to say. In the case of horseradish what he has to say is that it's really really good um, at treating scurvy and also at treating worms in children. Now one thing you do have to be careful of when you're doing home remedies is to be certain that one you know that you've got the right plant and two that you know what you're doing with it when you've got it. So I've chosen as our home remedy demonstration um, a plant that is often used also as a foodstuff um, and so unless you know allergy to any of the ingredients there really shouldn't be any danger there. Um, so this is horseradish uh, we have another horseradish plant um, elsewhere in the garden which has got variegated leaves and so that's where the chlorophyll doesn't fill the entire leaf and there's a white sections to it. Uh, but this is your standard horseradish it will grow just about anywhere it's really really easy um, in some cases it might be a little bit too easy because it tends to get a little bit um, large um, but it's easy to control because the part of the plant you need to use is the root and so that will stop it from growing too much. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to dig up some of the root, I'll show you what you need to do to process it and we'll have a go at making something from it. So first things first we have to get the spade in on a bit of root and so to do that I'm just going to break off some leaves to get me some access to it and then with the spade it's just nicely in all I want to do is break off a section of root like that um, that is probably ideal um, so what we'll do next is we'll go and give that a bit of a wash So this is the piece of horseradish root that we collected and you can see on here uh, there's a woody section which is probably represents last year's growth and it's obviously been broken off presumably in the winter when I tidied the plant up and then we've got a nice fresher growth here which is actually where the growing tip is. So what I'm going to do today because we're, we don't need a huge amount of it is I'm going to chop off the older section and I'm going to chop off the two growing points and leave us with a nice um, section of the root there and then we're just going to peel it um, with a peeler just to take off the uh, yellow and slightly cankery root try not to take any of my fingers with it Right, so a prepared root. Now it's it's firm, but it, it is actually um, quite fine. Um, so we need to grate it. And there we have it, our grated horseradish. So to that, uh, what we're gonna add is two teaspoons of uh, white wine vinegar. Now, if we just give this a sniff, um, it smells very differently of horseradish, um, clears the sinuses. Now, theoretically, this will bring out the flavour a bit. So I'm going to put that on. So two teaspoons of that. Mix that all in a bit. And if I sniff now, yep, that really has brought out the flavour. It's a lot more rich. Uh, now, you don't want to just eat dry horseradish root, so we're going to add a dollop of mayonnaise. So that's a good sized dollop of mayonnaise. Now there are other things you can mix it with if you don't like mayonnaise. Um, you could just as easily um, mix it with uh, a double cream or something else. You just uh, you want a, a creamy substance just to bind it together and make it not 
not too dry. And there you have it, horse sort of sauce, just like what you buy in the shops. And as I say, uh, cold pepper uh, says this is ideal for treating scurvy and also for treating worms. I suspect, I don't know how effective it is on worms, but the high vitamin C content of the root was almost certainly very effective at treating the scurvy. Um, and how does it taste? Doesn't taste too bad either.